guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you, finally, how I did my nails for $10 out of a box and my hair, which I think turned out pretty good. So here are all the items that you need. The first thing is the Kiss Nails Acrylic Nude in the style 64268KAN03 in the top right hand corner. So you're just gonna pop that box open. It does come with a nail glue, but I don't really like it very much because as it says on the box, it lasts seven days. Whereas if you use a really good nail glue, it lasts a full two weeks. So I'm gonna link that down below for you. Actually, I'm gonna link everything down below. So once you open it, you're just gonna pop out the nails and line them up with your actual nail to see which ones are gonna fit. Once you do that, line them up in a row so that they're easily accessible for you to apply. Then you're going to pop open the little package that comes with it. It includes a wood stick as well as a nail file. You're gonna use that nail file to buff the top layer of each of your nails. This is just gonna apply a little bit more grit to your nail to allow the false nail to adhere a little bit better. Next, this step is optional, but I usually do this. This is taking rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and just rubbing that on your nail bed. This is going to remove any of the dust that you just created as well as just dehydrate the nail a little bit. You're then gonna take the cuticle pusher and just push back your cuticle so that you have as much of the nail bed exposed as possible. Next, you're just gonna shake the nail glue, open it up, and start by applying a little bit of nail glue on your actual nail bed and then a little bit of nail glue on the fake nail. You're only gonna apply it obviously in the section of the fake nail that's going to be applied and stick directly to your finger, so not the top white edge. Press it down and hold for between, I'd say 40 to 60 seconds per nail. Next, you're just gonna take that paper towel and wipe off the excess glue on the sides and on the bottom. This is actually a pretty crucial step if you have excess glue because it'll wipe away right away, but if you let it dry a little bit, it obviously will not wipe away. So just keep doing that step by step. Glue on your nail bed, glue on the false nail, stick it on, wait, and then wipe the edges with paper towel. So this is the final step. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna file all three sides of the nail. Start by filing the top, which you're gonna file straight, then by filing the sides. So I'm trying to create a little teensy bit of a ballerina style nail. So instead of filing the sides straight, I'm actually angling the nail file to be pointed a little bit towards the center, as you can see here. And I'm just doing that on both sides. And then the top, again, is just filed straight across. And then you're just gonna keep doing that for all your nails. Okay, so these are the final nails. What do you guys think? They look pretty stinking amazing to me. Why I wanted to do my own nails is because when I go to a salon, I feel like I don't like the percentage chance at the time that I don't think that they're perfect. These, I think, just look so stunning. I could do them by myself at the comfort of my own home the day before my wedding or two days before my wedding and not really have to worry about it. So I really enjoyed this. Plus, they only cost like under $10. So good manicure. It lasted into my honeymoon and I really liked it. So, hope you guys do too. Now we're on to doing my hair. Wedding style. So to get started with the wedding hair, the first thing I'm gonna do is curl all my hair. My hair is probably like two days since I've last washed it. You don't wanna start out with very clean hair, otherwise you're gonna have to add a lot of product to it to make it hold and stay and last all night. So preferably not super clean hair. Um, so I'm gonna use, I think this is a one and a half or maybe a two inch curling one and that's what I'm going to be using to curl my hair. So just flipping around here, I'm gonna start out by taking a small section on the right side of my head 
twisting it around and then putting it up against the left side of my head and positioning it into place. I'm then going to grab a bobby pin or two, actually two in this instance, and just pin it into place. You want to make sure that it has a really strong hold because it is the first section of hair that's going to act as the base. Next you're going to do the same thing, but this time on the left side of your head, grab a section of hair, twist it, place it over the previous twist, but then tuck it under a little bit, and then grab another two bobby pins and pin it into place. Next, I'm gonna take the section on the right side of my face, twist it back, and do the exact same thing. So just over the previous section, and then pin it under the left section. And just a quick tip here is, you wanna make sure that you have a mirror in the front of you and in the back of you so that you can actually see what you're doing instead of just going based on how it feels. And then the final section here is taking the section right at the front of the left side of my face, twisting it back over the previous twists and then tucking it under a little bit and pinning that into place. And again, using two bobby pins because I really wanna make sure it's secure. Really just take your time with it and look at what you're doing and what it looks like as you go along. The next thing you're going to want to do is see if there are any sections that need puffing up. The extra volume looks really nice in the hair, so just see if there's any sections that need that extra volume. And then finally, you're just going to hit it with some hairspray, and voila! So I totally forgot to film an outro for you guys, so here it is. Let me know down below the nails or the hair, which would you do for your wedding? Or would you do neither? If you like watching this content, if you like me or you learn anything, then why not check out my Instagram at DIY Delia with an underscore at the end or subscribe to me on YouTube because then you'll get weekly doses of this exact content. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.